Now, we're heading to the north side of San Antonio to grub on some classic southern style fried chicken. Let's see what's on the menu at Crispy Fried Chicken. We have a few other spices, so we have a hot and then a hot hot. Yeah. And it's just basically upon request, but we always kind of give the regular unless anybody asks otherwise. If you want to get crazy, you, you want to get, get crazy. crazy. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Born out of a childhood love of some good old fried chicken, crispy fried chicken isn't afraid to spice it up to your liking. You go spicy, go crazy. Go spicy, live your life. Joining us now is the owner and cook out here at the food truck. This is Chris Bosmans. Thank you so much for having us, brother. Thanks, man. Thank and you. right behind us, you brought out all the goods. You got your side items. You have your main entree, which is the chicken, plus you got sandwiches and fries. Talk to me about the concept. How did it all get started? About a year ago, my wife and I had been trying to open up a bunch of different restaurants multiple times. And the last one we got super close on, but it just kind of fell through at the very, very end. And so we talked about it and I said, hey, let's just go ahead and just do the food truck. Let's see what happens. Let's get our food out there, see if people actually like what it is we're doing. So. I started frying chicken for about a year in the front yard because she was tired of smelling the fried chicken in the house and then we kind of landed on what we landed on and then we just kind of ran with it from there. So Fried chicken though, is that something that, you know, a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, grandpa, who was doing it? No, so when we moved to San Antonio in 96, we would go to churches every Friday. I fell in love with fried chicken then. That was like my little thing. I, we would eat it every single Friday, the honey bang biscuits or the honey butter biscuits is what they had. And so I've always loved chicken. Chicken and tacos are like my one and two. And so <laughs> yeah. everyone's already doing tacos in town. So I was like, I'm going to roll with chicken. So we kind of dove in, tried to figure out the best way to do what we wanted do and, and this is what we got. So. Awesome, man. Well, you got a great selection of items out here. I want to start with this area over here. You got side items. I want to start with the broccoli. What's going on with this one? My wife and I were actually on a diet. We were cleansing our, uh, our stomachs and all I could eat was vegetables. And so I was working in the truck one day and I was literally eating a raw head of broccoli and I was like, I'm tired of this. I dipped it in the oil and uh, created crispy broccoli and crispy cauliflower. Probably not something that you could clean yourself. No, with. no, no, no. But I, I had gone at least a good two days, you know, and, hey. I, and I did what I had to. So here, grab a piece with yeah, me, yeah, 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 I'll dive Yeah, you got seasoning on the outside, oh, a crispy yeah. breading on the exterior. Oh, yeah. On the inside, I bet Good. you it's gonna be a fantastic. You Quite got nice. sauce right there. What yeah. sauce is so that? So this is our soy bang bang sauce. So a bang bang sauce is typically a little bit sweeter, um, but what we did is we pulled out the honey, we added soy, and then a few other ingredients to kind of create our own little thing. So All drive right. on in, I'll follow right after you. All right, into the sauce. Ooh. All right, cheers to you. Cheers, Mike. All right, that's the broccoli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on! Wow. The soy bang bang sauce. Make you go crazy. Really what brings it together. That is phenomenal. Thanks man. Thanks, and man. I love the crispiness on the outside, yeah. super tender on the inside, and the seasoning is rocking. Talk to me about this elote right here. What you got going on at the corner of the cup? So when we were going to the menu, we were trying to figure out like where we wanted to go with our side dishes. Um, we wanted to do coleslaw, but we both hate coleslaw, my wife and I. Yeah. So we basically made corn in a cup, but cold. We added jalapenos and bacon on top. Oh yeah. Cotija and a little bacon salt on top it's as well. It's creamy, the bacon is a little smoky, but it has a great texture to it. The cotija cheese adds that little bit of saltiness that you want on top as well. And the corn itself has a great texture. It's a nice al dente bite. I mean, it's beautiful. It's actually refreshing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it almost feels like you're doing something healthy, but you know, it's come on. It. Hey, it's it's it. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, right next to it, green beans. So these green beans are an actual homage. There's a lot of homages on my menu. Um, this is an homage to the green beans from Bill Miller's, but Bill Miller's does theirs a little bit more thick than I do. But it's onions, tomatoes, bacon, cilantro, in a chicken tomato broth with the green beans as well. Wow. There's a lot of like, little shout outs to childhood things. Yeah. So we have the honey bang biscuits and that's an homage to the honey butter biscuits from churches. Kind of a playback on, on what we knew there. Corn's an homage to where she comes from in Mexico. Talk to me about this one right here. What's going the on with this dish? Crazy Mac, Crazy Mac. I had an employee said, I don't want to touch my food. So we created this dish. <laughs> uh, it's basically a bed of mac and cheese. You can do regular or spicy. We'll slice up two tenders, place them on top. We have a sauce called the crispy sauce, which is basically my take on a spicy mayonnaise. And then we have these little crispers on top. We call them Crispy's Crispy Crispers. Oh, we nice. Dizzle on top. So it just adds a little extra crunch in there for when you take a nice little bite. Okay. Cheers, Cheers. mate. Cheers. That's the Crazy Mac. That's the bite. Oh. Mm. My Give food. it some love. It's my food and I still love it. The mac and cheese noodle. The sauce is super creamy. It's a little bit, has a little bit of a kick to it, but not too much. It's really nice. The chicken is insane. Thanks, super man. crispy. It's in the name, so you know they gotta Thanks, be man. doing it. Thanks, man. And tender on the inside. Thanks. 
And what's the flavor? Are you like, is it a brining process? What is that? No, so we marinate overnight. It's gotta be at least 12 hours or 24. 24 is obviously way better. And then we use a chicken spice on top, basically just a medley of different spices, salt. We have a few other spices, so we have a hot, and then a hot, hot. Yeah. And it's just basically upon request, but we always kind of give the regular unless anybody asks otherwise. If you want to get crazy, you, you want to get, get crazy. crazy. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. And then you got mac right here. You also have, this looks like the spice mac. Is spicy this the mac. same mac that was in yeah, here? Yeah, so we use the spicy mac on that one. I think the spicy mac just has so much more flavor. Yeah. Uh, we use like a little bit of a chipotle kind of mix, and it gives it like a nice smoky kind of spicy flavoring to it. It's not going to kill you unless yeah. you want it to, and it's up to you. <laughs> and on this tray, you actually have fried chicken, not yes. just the chicken tenders. This is the real deal. Plus, you've got the biscuits on there. Correct. Talk to me about the process of making the chicken. So I dip it in a, basically a wet mix. And so what we do is it kind of gives it a bit, a bit more of like almost like a funnel cake shell, more of a crunchy, crispy outside to it. During that year process of me trying to figure out how to fry the right piece of chicken, this is what I had found. And, and over the time of we've been open, we've kind of just slowly changed it and perfected it. And, and kind of here is where we landed. All right, cheers to you. Cheers to you. This is the fried chicken out here at the food truck. And that's the bite. Woo! If it makes give us a glove, give us a flip. If it makes your shoulders move, that means it's good. That's a double tap, baby. Oh my goodness. Thanks, man. That is amazing fried chicken. Thanks, man. Wow. Yeah. Check out the inside. Extremely tender, flavorful down to the bone. I mean, and this the crispiness on the outside, it's a shell of flavor and it is just phenomenal. The skin on there, you've really built a beautiful texture. Thanks, man. This is one of the best chicken fried bites you can get in the city Ooh. of San Antonio. If you love fried chicken, you gotta come try it. I don't wanna put it down, I kinda wanna just keep eating it. I that's really, I mean, <laughs> that's the show. <laughs> All right, right, now. Biscuits. Biscuits. All right, this one right here, it looks like a honey biscuit. Honey butter biscuit, we call it a honey bang biscuit. Uh, so, like I said, we went to churches every Friday when we first moved here, and I just try to recreate the yeah, yeah. So, thanks, Ben. So we make these every day before service. Um, sometimes we run out, sometimes we don't. Most of the time we do run out. Nice little honey glaze on top, a little bit of a sugar coating, nice, sweet. It's a good counteract to kind of what's going on with the saltiness, like your body like tends to look for like sugar. Nice and sweet, but not too sweet. Great texture, you have that really crispy bottom, and then you have that crispy exterior, but on the inside, I mean, it's like a pillow of flavor in there, baby. It's just Thank loaded you. up. And then you got the little salt particles on there. It really helps balance it yeah. all out. Thanks, man. This is delicious. Thanks, man. Man, you put gravy on that. Give me some eggs, baby. We're going in. So these are our four sauces. Um, they're mainly for the sandwiches, but we have them on the side. Whenever you get the chicken tenders, which are these beautiful little babies right here, uh, you're going to get the crispy sauce. Crispy sauce is basically my take on a spicy mayonnaise. I made it years ago when I was making egg sandwiches and it just kind of stuck with me. It's perfect on chicken. Avocado ranch. This is a huli huli sauce, also known as a Hawaiian barbecue. And then we have the soy bang bang sauce as well. So many different sauces. And you also have, it's like chicken thighs? Chicken thighs are here. Yes. And they then you got chicken legs. You also chicken have the chicken tenders. And chicken breasts as well. Chicken breasts. You get the whole chicken out mm -hmm. here, y'all. You get the whole chicken, baby. They're deep frying the whole thing whole out thing. here. All right, now when you want to go for a sandwich, you have four options right yes. here in front of us. Talk to me about each one. The one on the back side is going to be uh, our reggae man. House-made pickles, our crispy sauce, we have dressed arugula, and then our chicken. If you want something a little bit sweet, we have the rajabra. Rajabra is basically a grilled pineapple relish, so it's pineapple, onions, jalapenos. Then we use our Hawaiian barbecue sauce, the huli huli, and then the dressed arugula as well. If you want to start spicing it up, we have these really, really cool habanero pickled onions. So basically we pickle onions with habaneros and a lot of herbs and that sandwich is called the spicy Herbie Hancock. Ha. Uh, see? We have, a, like we have a bit of an avocado ranch and then we also have the dressed arugula as well. And then our newest sandwich is the kimchi bangin'. So Ooh. we have the soy bang bang sauce and then we do a house uh, kimchi. Uh, we basically let it sit room temperature for three to five days, put it in the fridge for another week or so and then we're good to run with that, so. Man, you got all the options out here. You want to go sweet, savory, spicy. You can come out here and get a little bit of everything. Look how beautiful that is. Cheers, Cheers to you. This is the reggae man. That's the rajabra. That's the bite. Whoa. <laughs> so much flavor in the chicken. The pickles on there are a great texture. I love the bite on there. The produce that you got, it also really helps balance out some of the fried item that you have on there, but the sauce, man, that's killing it. And then you got the toasted bread. These are so delicious, and you have so many different options out here, you guys. Crispy fried chicken food truck. You gotta come out to Big Hops. 
If you love fried chicken, this is one of the best spots you gotta come to in San Antonio to come try this chicken. It'll blow your mind. Go spicy, go crazy. Go spicy, live your life. I'm going back in on that chicken. Get some. I don't even know which one was mine, but I- It don't I'm matter, we're friends now. Yeah. We're friends now.